Hello everyone, welcome to John Evans Fishing Adventures. I'm Evan Beal as usual. Today we are going on a little adventure here at another creek in the Roanoke River watershed. And as you would expect, we are going after some red horse. We tried for them last time and you can kind of remember we ultimately entirely failed. Um, mainly because I would not read up enough on the fish and didn't understand their habitat well enough. This time, I kind of understand it, uh, what they want as far as habitat goes, uh, especially from past experiences. I should have looked at that, especially uh, when factoring that in. So this time, we'll be a lot more prepared for catching some red horse. We're currently hiking along this little trail and uh, looking along the creek for some spots that we might want to hit later until while we get to the big spot, which is where we really want to fish, which is where this creek right here flows into uh, the main river. Uh, just checking out some different spots, seeing what might look good. This definitely does look pretty good. It's a little shallow, but it does have some current. So this could be good, but other than that, probably not. But uh, yeah, I'm doing this intro on the GoPro. Eh, I didn't feel like doing the uh, point and shoot for the intro today. Uh, we're hiking along this trail, so I thought a little first person view might seem a little bit more interesting anyway so we are hiking to the main spot which you can only get to via this trail so that makes it a little bit more exclusive excluded so yeah we'll update you guys on anything we see in this creek and or uh once we get to the spot oh <laughs> dude look dad i didn't need to buy that rod holder yeah. someone's already given me one obviously must be a good spot yeah Okay guys, I just want to explain my thinking here. So, we've arrived at the location. Here you can see the little creek right here, and you can see the main river right here. Now, you can see that the main river is actually very muddy. It's quite stained and muddy. The creek right here is very clear. You can see quite far down into the river, especially when you go farther down. But you can see right here that there's some muddiness right here and clear right here. It's, very, it's fairly defined right along here. And the current is flowing this way. The main river is flowing this way. And so what you're going to kind of get is like a swirling effect right here. So I'm thinking that the fish or the red horse are going to be staged up right here. Waiting for all this faster, slightly faster current to kind of uh, blow like debris, insects, little invertebrates and all sorts of bits of food down this current. And it gets swirled up right here in this calmer water and then they can just feed on it. So I'm thinking that right along this current edge with also this uh, uh, stained versus muddy water uh, break is also gonna be very good. So we're setting up right here. Also, you can tell that this is a good spot because we got here a bank stick already for us and we got some sort of lid here. I'm trying to see what it says. Caution sharp edges. Uh, I can't tell what this was at one point, but it's some sort of can. And these people littered when there's a freaking trash can right here. I don't understand people. Like, don't litter. That's a horrible thing to do. So, okay, let's get to fishing. This should be a very good day, I feel. First cast out. Here we go. Right where I wanted it. Doesn't seem too deep here, but again, I think there's going to be fish here. Get it away from my, get it away from my line. I don't know. Dad just hooked into a fish, first one of the day. Looks pretty small, but it's the start. Probably looks like a chub, most likely. But I don't know. A little bass, maybe? Oh, it's a big chub, dude. Holy Ooh, crap. Yeah, he's a good one. Okay, don't don't stress his mouth, because these right. things have very sensitive mouths. That is definitely a bull chub, because we are in the Roanoke River watershed. So, a nice little bull chubber. These were probably a very expected species for today. Oh, come on. Little buddy. So many. Got a squeak. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Little buddy is now free to roam. If he can figure out his means of escape. Come on. There he goes. He's okay. 
Good little buddy. First fish of the day. So you've got one bull chub. Yes. It's better? That's this, he's got a fish on. What is it? It's a red horse. red horse. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. Right in that swirly action. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, is he off? He's off. Okay, get him, get him in the net, get him in the net. I'm in the net. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a revival and then we'll check him out. Holy crap. I just realized these are your, this is your fish, but. I know. Oh well. Okay, I got the pictures. Let's get him back. Let's get him back here. I'll get him back. Boop. He's. Okay. And he's in. Okay. You got one? Holy crap. I'm snagged, dang nabbit. Oh, I probably lost the whole thing. And I did. Dang nabbit, how? Tell me how. How has he already got a red horse? Another one, how? Oh my gosh, dude, this guy is like the red horse master, man. Holy crap, he's already got another one. He got one? Oh my gosh. Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy cow! Look at this thing. All right, this one's different. It he is? doesn't have red. Look at him. Look at that tail. Look at that mouth. That's a very interesting mouth right there. Yeah, let's get some pictures here and get him back in the water. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, you're like the red horse master. Wow, dude. Woo! Dude, man. <laughs> you're like the, you're smoking me today, man. Well, I have just recasted too, I, I, I think. I wow. Um, Dang, dude, you got two different species of red horse. Line back out there, man. You caught two different species of red horse in one yeah. day. I just broke off, man. Oh, no. Oh, well. That's what happens. Okay. Dang, I got to line back out there. I'm telling you, dude, this guy right here is the red horse master, dude. Look at this. This is his third red horse today. I've had licensed anglers tell me that these red horse in this river are very difficult. This guy is just cranking them out. He's, he's, this guy's coming in pretty Oh, okay. Now. What is it? What is it? Big red horse. Big red horse. Look at that beast, man. Look at that beast. Holy cow. It's coming. Oh, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Oh my gosh, that's a beast. Holy cow. Look at the head on that thing, man. And I think he's ready. Eww. Oh, come on. No, come on. Come on. Get in there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Woo. Oh my gosh, here, take the net, take the net. Okay, okay. okay lift it up. That was a very soft bite. Holy cow. Very soft bite. Dang, really man. Keep an eye on your line. That's crazy. What okay. is going on today? I Dude, you are I crushing it. He just don't know what's going on. Oh. Not the same size Dang, as the last guy. Dang, that thing guy. is fat. Look at the... It's got black fins. I'll, keep it, I'll watch it. If you want it, can take some pictures or something. I'll... Oh, I'm just getting it on the video. So there's the fin. Here's the anal fin. It's got a hint of red on it. Oh, there's his head. Him out. Okay. I got enough pictures to... Got enough video to identify it. I'm telling you, man, this guy is absolutely just, like, destroying me. But I'm not giving up. And I'm not eating until I get this thing. So, well, as you can see in this video, I am getting completely wrecked by my dad. Uh, he was having a wonderful day of fishing today. I uh, caught, I believe, was four red horse and that one bull chub. 
Um, one of them, I'm not sure exactly where it is, I'm not sure if I actually recorded this one, but he did catch another red horse, which is, well, not a red horse, it was a white sucker, actually, from what I know of. Um, so that was really cool. I did not catch a single fish. The only thing I caught that day was I snagged a swallowtail shiner, so it didn't really count. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what the deal was with me. I just was not able to catch one. Maybe my line was too thick or, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but then the next day, we actually went back the very next day to see if I could get on one. But uh, both him and I did not get any bites on Red Horse. The only two fish... Well, the only fish that I caught was uh, a few red breast sunfish and a bluegill, and that was it. And it was really interesting to see how one day they were just feeding away. We were catching, well, at least my dad was catching a ton of them. And then the next day they just kind of turned off and they were not feeding anymore. And it was very interesting, so I, I want to look into that scenario. I recorded all the weather conditions and so forth about that day, so hopefully we can kind of figure out why that is. And I think we're trying to formulate that, and that is that... When that water level rises, it brings in more food to where it makes the fish want to feed more. But then, like, the day after, like, the day after, the day after it rained, two days after it rained, um, it seemed like they had turned, um, stopped feeding, is what I mean. They kind of stopped feeding. And I think that might be because there was less food moving through that current. But anyway, that's just a theory that we're going to try to test later in the future. Uh, maybe we can get some similar conditions, like it rained the day before, let's see if they're biting. Then we'll go the next day and see if they're biting again, and see if there's a trend. Because that'd be really cool to figure out this sort of theory. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. And of course, this is Evan signing out, until the next video. Goodbye.